Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 India Edition. Where last episode guys, we built a brand new line. It extends from Mumbai all the way down to Tinnevelli right now on this huge coastal run. And you can see right now, we got our first ever diesel train also chugging along this line. Where's it gone right now? I've completely, there it is. I thought I lost it then for a second. Now, at this point, at this moment in time right now, the, uh, is, wait, hold on, is the train on the right side of the tracks? It is, yes. For a second there, I thought the train was on the wrong side of the tracks. At this moment in time, it's not really making much of a profit. It hasn't even turned a profit just yet. Now, I don't know whether that's the fact that I've got two of an expensive engine on this line that obviously I do not need, or whether we just have to give it a little bit more time to keep circulating going up and down. I'm not 100% sure just yet. It also could be that this train is not um, carrying as many passengers as it does need to make a profit. That's what we're going to find out this episode. I also want to create some additional connections to some cities around it so we can make this big coastal line make more money and have more demand and you know have more passengers on it. We're hopefully going to get uh, this area down here fully grown as well. And we also created a streetcar route as well to kind of link everything all up. And I'm not too sure if these two lines, which I'm still yet to rename, that one's making a profit. And what about line eight? That is also making a profit as well. Wow, things are going to plan. So if you are enjoying this series so far, guys, please make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here so you get notified when more episodes do come out. But basically, we need to create more connections to these routes. Now, as it stands right now, on this big coastal line that we built last episode, the only crisscross connections for passengers are once they get down to Goa, where, no, sorry, not Goa. No, oh, no, it's not Goa. So they go from Mumbai, right? Goa and then all the way down to Mangalore. Ah, Mangalore is the one where we have our first connection. So that's quite a few stops here before they get a connection in Mangalore. And that is simply from an additional commuter line right now that goes all the way up into Bangalore. And it goes through Mysore as a stop there. So that's perfect. That works out perfectly fine. But it would be kind of cool if we can implement a few other stops uh, here, there and everywhere leading up. Uh, that way, we can have a few more connections, and there's not that many stops to have to jump to. We can unload and unload more people on at these new little junctions. So, from the get-go right now, we don't really have many places around Mumbai, so it's not the ideal place to add an additional connection. We have uh, Rat uh, Ratnagari, uh, which, again, that feels like the same as Mumbai. It's a little bit out of place. This big cliff edge does hinder us ever so slightly. So it could be, as of right now, these two towns aren't the best ones to utilize. Now, Goa, Goa backs onto Balguam, and I think all this building stuff up here on the cliff edge is technically a part of uh, the Goa city. But we do have the ability to um, bring a connection up here. I could do a simple back and forth route here to get people to connect to this train station. It's another way in which they can transfer over to another public transportation line, another commuter line. That should be quite a busy route, thus meaning more unloading and loading on Goa. So that's a good little stop there to which we can utilize. Now, Mangalore has that connection there, so that's perfectly fine. So that is just a generically a busy, busy uh, station altogether. Uh, Kochi right now, that could maybe do with something good, but it's so close to Mangalore, it can utilize that connection. Uh, Kolam right now, this one's all over the place. Now, this might benefit from a connection up to Coimbatore. But then again, going down here, up and then there, and then through, you're at Coimbatore. So it's a little bit confusing to see which would be kind of be beneficial. But I think we'll start here first and then just go from there. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to do some destruction. I know it's not great, but I want to try and connect the upper area of Goa <laughs> to the lower so if I do run a connection through now, we can kind of access everywhere to make the most beneficial routes. Is that a uh, cargo route? It is, isn't it? Do we still have cargo coming here? We do. I was almost about to delete it then. Now, where does that cargo line run from all the way up here? Ah, it goes from the food area. Of course it does. Of course it does. So anyway, let me pause for a second because there's some destruction and now about to happen. So what I reckon we should do is delete this road here. 
and this road. Billy, this road coming back to about there, because we're going to try and, you know, elevate it all the way down. Now, I want to pick a road in which it's going to connect into, so it's going to be this connection here. So if I just delete you, delete this perimeter road going around, they're not going to like it, but it's what I've got to do to bridge the gap. I'm going to delete you, delete you, delete you, delete you, delete you, delete you. Right, that is, that is pretty much, I've just deleted half the city. But trust me, it will grow back, guys. Don't stress too much right now. Don't stress too much. So first things first, then we're going to smooth in the area. We're first going to smooth in it, just so we can kind of see the differences in which we have to create for the incline. Uh, now, it's quite a dramatic transfer of terrain that I've got to do. So just smoothy, smoothy, ever so nicely. But I don't think we're going to be able to get any further than that. So what we do then is we're going to flatten it and we're going to pick a main road. Which I might do two main roads leading in. I might pick this one here to go into there. And this one to go into there. If it all goes to plan. So street rise. Let me just take off ownership. It's something that I kind of forget to do. And right, let me scrap that. Let me start again. So bring in this up to about there and if i raise it as much as i can but then make this not none of this go into a tunnel that should work and then do the same here as we now wait for auto save uh, same here not go into a tunnel so it will click these dramatic cliff edges but we can smoothen those out now this road will extend down to where it will then eventually meet a bend in and connect in, which is glorious. Now, which one am I kind of connecting to? Is it going to be this one or this one? I wanted it to be to be this one here. So bring this further out, obviously making it go down. And the connection is going to happen a little bit later by the looks of it. I reckon we can just do it straight here. Right. No tunnels or jazz, anything like that. And it leads down. Now, it does seem quite dramatic. But if I now scrap this back again. And then do a longer road. It digs into the ground a little bit more. And then the same with this. So, if I delete to here and then delete back. And then do it like that. It digs into it. So the elevation change isn't as dramatic. It's still quite dramatic. Don't get me wrong. It's still very, very, very dramatic. But not as bad. Now, all we got to do... That's flattening, isn't it? i got to smoothen it. All we got to do right now, boys, is smoothing this all out. Now, this will take a little bit of time. And to be honest with you, the flattening tool might be... A better thing to kind of go with. To start with. Because it will kind of eat into the chunks a lot quicker. All right, let's go here. So you're kind of creating like little staggered stages. Like that, and then smooth. So smoothing all this out. There we go. And it should smoothen the line to the road a lot better. So this is quite dramatic to eat into this, but I want to create a better transition for Goa. And I want it to build a little bit better up as well. So it's not going to be perfect, but that should do. Now, the two roads means I get to create my little kind of street cart route. Uh, but first and foremost, let's create the connections. So we're going to create our little staggered, staggered sections. So let's see where we can do it. If I do a road leading across here, let me do it straight. You kind of then get these little grid formats. Bring this road into here. And then bring it across. And however he wants to grow there, we'll let the town decide the rest. So for the last time, then we're going to smoothen it all out. And that should be pretty much it. And then we should have these nice little staggered areas. That we can really build with. So you can view it now once it updates. It's a lot more builder friendly. And the town can then grow a lot easier right after that huge jibber jabber then let's get this all sorted and set up
Now, do you see us bringing multiple connections of streetcars along here? I'm going to say at the moment, no. So until then, we should just kind of keep it simple. Uh, electric, left, right, 30. Or do I just go for the full beans and drop in a huge tram stop? Now, I could put it on the opposite side to maximize the coverage and have another stop or two this way. That could lead on to, like, uh, is that a tram stop over there? It is. Maybe there's a way in which we can kind of create a connection leading through, like a free city stop. Or do you reckon that would be a little bit too much? It might be a little bit too much to kind of begin with, because you never know if I'm going to run a commuter line through there. So let's just kind of keep it simple with the uh, your standardized one. So one there. And then we do one here. And then what we'll do is we'll throw a stop in here, which is in the middle. And of course, one just there. So new line. Bam, 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 bam. I'll make it orange so it stands out. It does exactly what I want it to do. Back and forth, no issues. I don't think it'll be more than one tram. Two at a push, but never more than three. So this is our bell to um, Goa, and we'll call it our tram line. Easy enough to understand. And of course, I'm going to have to upgrade the roads as well. There we go. To include the tram tracks. And then of course, build a tram depot which i'll build just here because that is the least builder friendly area we'll smooth in what we can you're not going to get much out of it well that will do us justice so buy a new tram and if i do it by capacity all the way to the bottom this one here by you we'll start with one and then see how we go right Go out. I do apologize for all the destruction, and you're probably going to hate me for it. But in the long run, you will become a bigger and better city. So it's not all doom and gloom. <laughs> it's not all doom and gloom, boys. It's not all doom and gloom. Now, while we wait for that to turn some cash, then what lines are currently losing the most amount of money? So that's the tram route that we just created. Now, the Hubley food one doesn't seem to be doing too great. And that probably hasn't started making... Oh, it started to lose more money once we kind of increased the amount of road vehicles. So if I take two away, that will reduce the expenses, and hopefully then it should keep turning a profit. Now, is this losing? Does this need more food? There's not really that much wheat over here that we can still bring over, so you're kind of limited on that anyway. You are kind of limited. So maybe it's a case of just kind of slightly reducing the amount of vehicles. Now, what about the other lines? The Goa food is, again, of a similar issue. Now, this does drive quite some distance, but since we increase the numbers, we'll get rid of two vehicles. So it reduces the amount of money that we're spending and maintaining it. And then we should be able to keep on top of that. Right, let me check the other lines and we'll get back into uh, money-making mode. So all the machine routes are losing money. And obviously the main reason for that is we just don't have enough machines being delivered. Now we have a lot on the platform, but it depends on where they're going to. The Mysore train makes money when it delivers. But that does have a very, 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 very long route in which it has to travel. Now... There maybe is a way in which we can kind of shortcut that route. But the money it makes when it does make money in a year pays for the year that it loses money. I could make it, you know, run into this line and then go down and then turn off just here into my saw. You know, that could save a lot of troubles and hassles. But it's not the end of the world. Uh, the bang machines... Now, that's the one that used to always make a lot of cash, but I honestly feel like it's literally down to the fact that 
they have, sometimes they have to skip a year, the amount of uh, trains traveling. I could up the amount of signals so, you know, there's less trains stopping all the time. But ultimately, doesn't matter what I do, if there's not enough machines, we're just not going to have enough deliveries. So there's a ship coming in. I do need some more ships. All right, so we'll manage this vehicle here and we'll clone it. That means we've now got eight ships on this line altogether, I think. Have I got eight ships? No, it's seven ships is what I've got in total. Uh, up in the numbers, we've got lots of uh, machines to be delivered, but we also have a lot of wood over here to be delivered as well. So up in those numbers dramatically will make a huge difference. A huge difference. So I'm wondering if I clone one more. But this ship, we make it go to Mumbai instead. So fast forward. As much as we can, anyway. So that will kind of be on the way already. Before this ship here has to leave. Even though it's already on the way. So they're quite, they're quite close by. It's one of those things, you should buy them every so often. Just so they spray, uh, space themselves out a little bit easier. But it's always going to be difficult because it's a slow transit over there with the uh, with the ships. Now, how are we doing over here with this uh, this tram? Ooh. It is a bit slow going uphill, but we should be okay. Finances, we yet to make the big dollar bills, but we've only just really kicked this tram route into existence. So that will also take a little bit of time. Now, looking down, we've got to see what's overloaded and what's not overloaded. High speed train route. There's a lot of people over in Coin Bator. It's the ram to coin route here, which is a little bit excessive. Now, we do have two trains on this, but it seems to be getting busier and busier. Now, the trains can hold a uh, 100 capacity each. So let's manage these vehicles. Now, if I go to the passenger and go to the capacity and scroll all the way to the bottom, they don't have the ones that can hold the most, but then again, they only hold an extra one person. So I might as well just throw an extra capacity on each one. No, we do an extra two capacity on each one. So that gives me an extra 40 capacity on each train, an extra 80 capacity on the line in general. So that means we'll be shifting more people. So yeah, it does get very interesting. It does get very interesting. So a lot of this stuff, we're just going to pretty much have to leave it as it is. And uh, we can probably think about now planning out some brand new routes. So let's take a look at Hyderabad then. It's something that I want to create some commuter lines coming off it. Now, I can't do the right-hand side because that's going to lead down to go over Bez, uh, Bezawada, which will then lead into the Nalor and the Chuda, uh, put a cherry line that I have all built up and just can't build until we've unlocked elevated train stations. And that will go to the right-hand side here. Now, the left-hand side is a different question. There's two ways in which I can kind of approach this. I could, because the it already has a commuter line connected to it, which the uh, the cargo route runs through and all that jazz into it, which means the line kicks out there and comes down. So I could make it start in Bel Guam, go to Hubli and to Pur, but where the other line turns to go to Bangalore, this one can then go to Hyderabad, to which we then make it go somewhere else. Now the options that we've pretty much got is. I could make it turn here to go through uh, uh, Solapur, up to Pune, and then maybe bring it into Mumbai as a way to kind of add that additional crisscross in. Or my other option is bring it down here to turn it into Nanded, into uh, Urangabad, and then bring that into Mumbai. It's a difficult one. It would mean that I'm leaving one, two, three towns without any connection to the train line. They have connections via trams, 
right. Or I can bring it in this way so it's kind of like a lot shorter. But then there's nothing stopping me kind of making the Bao Guam line go around to connect into Puna. And I can create a loop. What would you say? A loop is better than a point to point? I mean, a loop could mean I have a constant circulation of trains going one direction or the other. If I do both counterclockwise and anticlockwise, counterclockwise and anticlockwise, that's the same direction. Clockwise and anticlockwise, it does become a little bit more difficult to make money. Or I can kind of keep it all separate. Now, Nagpur could benefit from that commuter line coming down this way or going this way. It doesn't have to. But it does, does give me the option. Now, coming down here and then bending it in this way is a lot more difficult. Because then it will kind of come down like this, wouldn't it? I mean, that's also an option, is to make it kind of come down here, in there, and then up this way, and then off it goes. That's an option. But then I can also create a loop because of how close these two end cities would be, or end towns. Unless I make it go through Nanded and then go to uh, Mamad and then create a tram line that kind of connects them all up. That also gives us the capabilities to do that too. So it's just creating that connection which becomes the next excitement. It really does. So I reckon we're going to do that. Now, this is going to be quite complex. It's going to be very difficult to build. But I reckon we could do it. I reckon we could literally do this. So pause for a second, because now more destruction now needs to take place. Right. Sorry, everybody, but it is what it is. Because it means it will replace the streetcars. We can then go down to a singular road. And have a bit more space to play around with. So, train station-wise, um, how big do we go? I don't think we go any bigger than that, right? In terms of length? No, I don't think so. I don't think so, boys. And then we're going to add in our bypassing stations, all that jazz in. Uh, platforms. We're so close to unlocking elevated platforms as well. Uh, obviously, cargo needs to be thrown in. And then we need passenger buildings. Which are, I need the ones that means I'll be able to kind of connect it directly to it. Oh, you're joking me. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. I was a bit worried there. None of these buildings were going to connect. But we got there in the end. So I'm just meeting, uh, uh, missing the miscellaneous stuff. The overpasses. It ain't got to be a crazy building. It just needs to kind of be as simple as I can get it. Also, upgrade that road there. It doesn't need to be uh, four lane. So that's now situated in the center. And we're going to try. I'm going to get rid of this road here. We're going to try then and kind of connect this into here. Because that's where the commuter line is going to ultimately run. Now, my only uh, concern now is becoming that there's going to be so many lines in this one commuter line because of how the machine stuff is now working. The amount of machine trains I have on the go is going to become a little bit of a issue for this line. But if I go from down here and then bend that in. And bend that in. That's a nice little connection from Hyderabad to Gubarga. Gubarga? Is it Gubarga? Gubarga. Is that how we pronounce it? So if I go in there and into there, and then is it possible to create the crisscross really, really short? So I was hoping this road here can then maybe go through. Get rid of the tram tracks. As a 
crossover road. There we go. So it can all connect up and over. And the city's all part as one. And I'm hoping the same thing can be done here. Fingers crossed. So train tracks. We're not going to make it go underground. There's no need to in this area. No need to one bit. So make this as short as I can. And then we need the crisscross to take place here. Oh, what do you mean this slow? Right, delete the road. What are you talking about right now with the slopes? What slope? I mean, technically it is going down here. I think it's because... I built the road first, didn't I? So it kind of dips down on the road. Whereas we'll make the road adjust for the train line. So super close again. What are you talking about, these slopes? Do you guys see a slope? Because I don't see one. I do not see one. Let me get this road to cut, cut through again. I've gone as close as I can get it. Okay, that's the closest I can make it go. Right, that worked. Okay, we got there in the end. Right, that station's in, which is actually amazing. So, it does kill off the tram tracks, the tram line. So, what I might do is grab that uh, tram line right now, manage the line. So, where we'll go to, uh, to South Street here, delete you. Hang on, the auto save's kicking in again. Uh, get rid of one of the uh, sit-ins over here. So it's just a simple back and forth to uh, Rajamundri. Unfortunately, that's how it's going to have to be. Now, I want to de-evolve the tram lines around here. So how do I get rid of them? Just want to get rid of them. Because they're no longer needed around here. Right. Waiting for you to hurry up before you get stuck. And uh, that's a nice little connection in, isn't it? That does exactly what I need it to do. I just feel like with the amount of machine trains going around, it is going to cause us some big problems. But you never know, really, do you? You just never know. Right. Kill off you. Kill off you. This is almost to where I need it to be so I can get rid of it and then I never have to touch it ever again. Last little bit. Goodbye, fool. Goodbye. So we've kind of cut up into here, which is great. And then I was going to bring this into here. But with the way that this town is situated, it's as if the train station would go down this way. Because that would make the most amount of sense. Now, if that was the case... How would then this run? Because I was going to take it up to Puna, But maybe I don't have to. Maybe I can kind of bring it down like this. And then up. But it's such a sh close call now, isn't it? It is such a close call. So I could run it this way. But I'm also going to have to integrate it with this train line here. There's a train line here. I didn't even, didn't even take into account while bringing this up, did I? So I can build it here on the edge. There's nothing wrong with that. So if I pause again. And delete this road here. And another train station. So I put it right at the end of the road. And that becomes like the main focal point to the end of the city. But it's not really serving the city well, is it? 
Well, it'd be like the Bellary train station, wouldn't it? That one's like on the outskirts. And that one services the area just fine. So it'll be kind of like treated like that almost. I say almost, it'll be treated exactly like that. Right, platform, cargo, tracks. There we go. Uh, platforms. Cargo in. And then the miscellaneous stuff. The underpass. The little canopy good stuff there. Passenger buildings. And then let's just quickly sort out the road network. So we're going to upgrade. Well, we're going to change the... Oh, construction not possible. Pull it back to a normal style road. Now, this one apparently can't do it, but I'm going to delete that because it's all going anyway. And then I want to devolve the tram tracks. Which you can't do. i got to wait for them to turn around, don't I? Um, right, this one here, then, this line, it would, would have gone into... Oh, we no longer exists that, so get rid of you, and then you're back to normal. Just wait for them to now head back. That's all I've got to do there. So, street-wise, then, let me now... I don't know where to build this to or from. So if that connected there, if this kind of continued this way and then that went straight across. I'm just figuring out where the crisscross would be. So this is an outskirt or outer skirt train line. Oh my goodness me, they're trying to build there. Sorry, you can't build there. And I'm going to push this all the way through. Uh, so that way. And then this going this way. Okay. So now I've got to do the crisscrosses and all that jazz. And I've got to do it as short as I can. I can't see me doing a crisscross here. Or can I? No, I knew it. I'm a little bit too close there, aren't I? Too much curvature? What are, you, what are you now talking about, game? Right. I don't get how it, sometimes it works one way and doesn't work the other. Right, i got to make this as short as I can. Because we know how important it is to maximise the crisscross. Alright, what are you talking about now? Right, don't do this to me. I'm deleting the road. I've deleted the road. We're going to try again. Um, is that smoothing? Alright, all smoothened. There cannot be any issues now. But apparently there is. How is there too much curvature? How is that too much slope? <laughs> Sometimes you just have to laugh. Because if you don't, you're going to cry. You really are going to cry. Well, let me get the road back in. 
Just so I know ultimately how much space I've got. I'm going to go for the... Try the maximum space this time. Too much slope. Not going to work. I wonder if doing it this way first is better. No, still too much slope. Oh, right, this is do me Edin. This really is do my Edin now, boys. So here to there. Right, what? <laughs> what are you doing here, boys? How is it, right, so difficult to crisscross here? Right, got there, got there, got there. Get rid of the building. Oh, you fool! Now it's the road issue. Now there's a road issue. It's because I'm too far over. I can slightly diagonal it and hope they won't notice. But other, other than that, it's what it is. Right, get rid of the uh, hot jams here. There was no evidence of it previously being there. And now we've got to crisscross this, which is going to be interesting. So I'm thinking here, well, first thing I'm thinking is pull this back slightly. Um, I, I mean, there is an option I can kind of merge it within this, but I don't really want to do that. Now, pause. If I delete to here and delete this all the way back to where it's starting to bend, Wait for the auto save. I'm going to make that one go a lot lower and then make this train line go up and over it. But I just got to wait for the auto save. I wish the game didn't freeze when you auto saved it. So, this train line, it's going to go straight, but I want it to go low. So where's the snap? That's the snap. Now it means I'm gonna have to get rid of this road quickly. So I don't want it, I don't want it to tunnel. I just want it to be sunken. And then remain sunken. And then which side this, is this on I'm building? Uh, just delete this. I'll add the road back in. Just so I can get... There's too much... Too much what on that? Too much slope, which comes from this. Now, is that not sunken enough? I don't think that is sunken enough, unless from here, we've got it to rise up ever so slightly. To perform the bend, but I'm not liking the bend. I'm gonna take it across as a steel bridge. Alright, we'll go to about there. And then we'll drag this straight. Right. 
bring this further down. Right, there we go. There we go. Crosses over there. Looking beautiful. Um, I would have got rid of some signals. I'm assuming I, I had some signals here. So, bam, bam. Uh, I will need to put signals all on this. So, you go there. And you would go here. And I'll place a set of signals there and there. I'll need to do some over here as well. So, you would go there. And you're there. You're there. You would be here. So that all leads in gracefully. Just moving this out a little bit, and there should be no interruptions now for either of those lines. Very intrigue. Oh, I forgot the roads. I forgot the roads. I forgot the roads. Uh, streets. So I did it. I would like the road to go up and over it. So you'd have to raise the road up. And then do it as a bridge. If I delete this back a little bit more. Smoothing all you out. Now that doesn't really lead anywhere, this road, by the way. But I think that's where this road going straight. Well, where it would have went straight. Here. And that leads round. I think we should just kind of freehand this almost. To kind of just go like that. Right, we'll leave that as it is. Let me just sort this out. Now this is... We can try and make it go over. Right, it's not high enough here. Sure as I can do it. So there, smoothing all out. No dramas. Right, we're back in business to this area. A a anything I can do right there just to make sure there's no uninterruptions with moving that train line through. So we're going to bring it into uh, Puna right now, which this place. I'm going to run this road directly all the way to there to see if I can squeeze a train line in here. So delete, delete, delete. All right, I've got a long area to work with. Well, I probably won't utilize all of that anyway. So you go there and then edit. And let me just do tracks first because I want to make sure that I can get all it all in. Which shouldn't be an issue. It all just comes down to the passenger building. Alright, i got to delete this, these buildings here to add that in. Right, passenger buildings before anything. Oh, that fits in perfect. Okay. Oh, that, that was the perfect fitting station. I've never had a station fit so perfect. Underpass, canopies... Very good. Now, we've got a long area to work with to kind of uh, extend out. And we'll keep it like that. But I think for now, it, this is going to be the end station for it. I think that's where the end station is going to run for now. So if I run it straight. And run you straight. And then I've got all this space to work with with our Chrissy Crossies. Which, even with all this space, you still can't get it in. Uh, 
There we go. <laughs> and then we're just going to get this connected to here. So I'm going to run this in a straight line. And it looks like at the last minute, we'll bend it in. So I can go from Poonar to uh, Solpor, uh, Solapur to uh, Gubarga into Hyderabad. And it's from there where it then chooses to go next is the mystery. Now, from this, we originally had these two places here connected to Hyderabad via trams, okay? Now, we're going to have them connected to, via train. I could also create additional connecting lines. So, you know, we got this line here, this tram line. It goes all the way down to Goa. I could create a proper tram route that goes from Solapur down to Goa via Balguam. That will make things a little bit more juicy and interesting. Now, I haven't decided where from once he goes from Pune down to Hyderabad, where it then goes next. I'm probably going to make it go through Nanded uh, and then uh, either to Man, uh, Manmad or to Nazik. I'm not sure where I would make that then run. Because I can bring it up to uh, Orangabad unless I make it go from Nan, uh, Nanded to Nazik and then do a tram route through here to connect them up. And one of these could end in Mumbai unless I make it do a loop. I'll have to decide that and think that right now. But let me just get a tram. Uh, sorry, not a tram. A train underway on here. And then back again. Uh, I'll make it blue so it stands out. So, Puna Annex, utilize both stops. Uh, Hyderabad, utilize both stops. Uh, when you're coming down here, this is Upper Solaport. So, that works out. It's on the left hand side, isn't it? Yet. Yeah. That works there. So that all works with it anyway. Uh, the signals are all in place here. I've just got to sort the signals out here. Which will be there. And would be... There. I'll throw in an extra set just here. Wait for that autosave to kick in. Let me get this last little bit of signals then in. And that's pretty much it. It's only running to there anyway. There's not really much more to it. Now, I need a train in which we'll utilize this one here. And it's got to be super cheap. So I might go... Ooh. Okay, so super cheap. If I do running costs... We just got some new diesel trains. So I was using this one on the, uh, the coastal line. But we now have cheaper variations. That will probably be better for us. This Russian class TE3... It's pretty quick, but I don't need it to be that quick. I'm going to go for this BRV100. We'll see what happens with that. Now, capacity. Again, I'm all about running costs on this line. So that's the most expensive. This is the cheapest. So 16, 14, 17, 19. Okay, we'll go for these Suburbans. 57 capacity, and that will be on line 9. Do your worst. Now, my only concern, my only issue is um, the amount of machine trains running through this commuter line here might become a little bit of an issue. Now, if it does, I'm going to have to get rid of the big main building and then extend this here to have four lines as well. Or at least have an, one additional line in the middle so trains can bypass through it. Uh, when there's um, you know, a train on the station. So there's that train anyway. I'm not sure how busy it's going to be. But it's in a good position right now to pick up people and transport them. So while that does that then. We can take a look at um, how we can sort out a line here. Going up to Solapur. For the connection of the tram routes. Or do I do it as Poonar? 
as the end section. I'll do it as Punar because and if I make the line go up to there, I can then hop here with streetcars. I, I, that might be too far. I can do two lines of streetcars in reality, couldn't I? So, let me just delete this little connection in the middle. Pause. Um, buildings, bus and tram stop. Ooh, it's a, maybe a little bit too big, that one. Which side do I build it on is the question. It's, it's because it's on a slope as well, which kind of hinders me. Um, put that there. I put that there. I'll put this street back anyway. And anything I add to this to add additional connections. Oh, okay. So you get all four corners, which is maximum connectivity. It doesn't look like it catches or connects much over here, but there's, there's not many buildings that you can see. It does get a radius going around. So that connection there in Puna. Which for now will be the end section until I, I decide if I'm going all the way over to there. And I feel like it would be worthwhile to build one of them here as well. Now, is that train line going to go any further? I'm going to say no. So if it's not, that gets built at the very end. And there's room here to extend it just a little bit more to get the full radius. And then what about down here? That reaches all the edges already. You can see the lines connecting. That's going to be amazing. Right, so that red route, we're going to have to adjust. But I reckon there's a few more stops we could have in here. So it stopped just there for this side of Puna. Uh, Baoguan, it stops there, which is pretty much picks up all of there. And I'm going to add a stop in here. So we're going to completely change the current stops, which they're not going to like. And that comes down to here, which that gives us a good radius already. Okay, actually, I might do one more set, which will be just here. I'll put this one back in. Because that mainly covers this area. So what I'll do is delete that road. Bring this street out to there. Which I won't say gives us a better coverage. But it picks up a few people in this area. So that could be handy to a certain extent. Right, that line that no longer exists. All right, I'm going to get rid of everything. I'm going to start again. So click in new here, which you can go to all the platforms. Or not. Or not. <laughs> uh, make it go here. Up to there. There. And then leading all the way out. There. There. Back again. Which is already destined to be a tram stop. Which is why I'm having the issues. I need the uh, additional tram connections. And that will start again. So we'll come back to that in just a minute. Because I've now got to make sure that the roads contain... the tram stops so that does we'll bring that there and get rid of you actually no we still need that one in and that will be leading out so going to play for a second that sorts out that whole run And 
and what doesn't have the line connected. So, oh, no electricity. Is it the wrong type of tram tracks? What am I doing? So what's now missing? Right, run to here. It's cargo stops. That's what it is. I just realized I put cargo stops down. Right, bam. Bam. That sorts them out. There's cargo stops here. I'm a fool. I am a fool. Right, now not all stations are connected. So what now is not connected via these? Here. And that was it. <laughs> that was legit it. So that route is now all up and running and connected. Granted, it will take some time, and we're probably going to need multiple now vehicles on this line. So if I duplicate, and then select them and duplicate them. Uh, that's four. I'll duplicate two more. That's six, just to kind of give us the capacity to begin with. And we'll see what happens. So, where's that train then? That new train line that I've just built. That goes round here. Where is the train? Is this the train? No. Are you the train? No. Oh, the train's here. So, you can see right now, we've got a lot of trains on this line. It might be worth be, be, uh, building a bypassing route on this side. So has it made money yet? It hasn't made money, but it's having to wait some time right now for it to have the green light to go. You see what I mean? I could drop another signal there to allow a train to kind of exit. But because that's having to wait and there's a train coming down, a bypassing route there would be absolutely perfect. So... I think we've given ourselves more work than we need right now. Um, this route anyway, finances, the trains are actually now making money. So we could implement more on. There's nothing now stopping me. It's all now grown back in this area, which looks absolutely terrifying. And the only lines now losing money is the brand new one I just created. Balguam Food, which I can quickly now sort that out. I'm not sure why I didn't take two vehicles away from the get-go. So that will now make profit. And do you know what? Not all the machine lines are now appearing up, which shows to me we're getting a lot more machines now to the platforms. A lot more. So things are turning around. Before we do go, what's the most money we've made so far? It would have been, is it this year? 278. 278, 269, 266, 27, 270 million is our most money we've made in a single year. Hot damn. Until next time, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.